Hi, you guys. I just ordered some new groceries again. And do you guys like the first video that I just decided to make? I decided to do another one. And I'm so happy that you guys liked it. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna start doing more videos and like actually putting time and effort, getting ready and doing something with myself. I was trying to show you guys say. Don't Say by Doobie and the last like couple verses have so much meaning to me like uh, I, got just, I just got goosebumps like it's he says something like you cannot change certain things like you cannot push away winter like it's gonna come no matter what like you like things are gonna happen you're gonna have to deal with it if we don't have April showers it doesn't bring May flowers Right after the winter time comes springtime. After everything dies, there's always a rebirth. <laughs> but anyway, I know it's like so corny, but <laughs> okay. So, do you guys like my jacket? Do you guys want a jacket? <laughs> I'm gonna order some jackets soon. Um, I don't know what they're gonna be. I have a Pornhub logo. But I kind of want it to be like, I don't know, more me. Like, just have my name on it, but like make them like more mine, vice versa, like OnlyFans or Pornhub. So maybe drop some ideas, like send me some things or something. I have a lot of stuff in mind, but I just want to see if you guys have anything like in mind to offer any good ideas or anything. So let's get started on my grocery shopping today. I got some veggie straws and I got them in variety packs because I love all flavors of them and I always crave all different flavors and they're portioned so I won't like eat a whole bag of them. I just smacked them on the ground like twice. What do we got next? We'll just take this bag. I bought stuff to make taco soup. So maybe I will do a little video on that. It's been so long since I started cooking, like since I've cooked anything. Like it's been well over a year. Um, Cause I left and I started traveling a year ago, pretty much today on April 5th and I didn't stop until now. I've been, this is the longest break that I've had in a really long time. I needed it, <laughs> but I wouldn't change it for the world. I, yeah, I am very thankful and so happy to be here, but I think that we got some new stuff coming in, like this YouTube, <laughs> but. So I got some good tortilla chips. I honestly don't really know what tortilla chips to buy. This is just like a brand that my family used to buy all the time. Um, and I think of only ones that aren't too salty that I remembered. So I grabbed some of those. Um, and then I was gonna grab like some dairy free, like or vegan cheese, but I didn't, I like, I get so scared that it's not gonna taste good. And I was like, it's just a little bit of cheese. Like what's a little bit of cheese on top of my taco soup gonna do? So we got some, mm, sorry, I gotta turn down the lighting. We got some Mexican blend Tillamook cheese, farm style thick cut. <laughs> and then I did get like original um, not spicy ones of these. I've never had them before, but they had really good reviews and I love chicken sandwiches, but I don't want the chicken. So we're gonna try these. I hope that they're really good. I'm excited. <laughs> we got some impossible burger meat stuff. This is what I'm gonna use for the taco soup. Normally I just wouldn't put any meat in it at all, but I was like, why not get some plant-based meat and throw it in there? Like. I'm gonna completely add a bunch of other stuff into it too. So it's not like I'm just eating this. Like this is gonna taste just like the taco soup. So it was a huge plus and there's more protein and 
yeah, protein. That's what we get out of this is protein. <laughs> so I was like, any vitamins or something, but no, just protein. It's a mean substitute. Um, that's weird. This is not the hummus that I wanted, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll try it. Maybe it'll be my next new favorite. So normally I get like, um, that name brand. I think I have it in my fridge. I probably got it the last time I got groceries. No, I don't. Just kidding. Cause I ate it all. That's why I got a new one. But yeah, so this and that Sabria or Sabra or something like that, that brand, best freaking hummus I've ever had in my life. Back at it again with the kombucha. They don't have cases. But they're only three, they're not only three dollars, they're three dollars. But at other places, they're like three ninety nine. so getting them three dollars a piece is kind of a steal. Um, yum. I'm actually gonna open up this one right now. Pineapple and ginger, like how could you go wrong? Oh my gosh, let's talk about like a good pH balance and everything, you know what I mean? You shouldn't smell it though. They don't smell that good, but it kind of does. It reminds me of like a year ago today. That's what like the nostalgia just brought to me. Oh. Yay! I wanted to get excited, but I didn't want to choke on it. A big old bag of frozen corn. Because frozen corn is our favorite. Sorry, it was a little like bubbly. <laughs> um, spicy. <laughs> so yeah, we like frozen corn because frozen corn still gives it like that pop to it. I feel like like it really just preserves the flavor. I personally think so. That's why I buy frozen corn. A big old bag of blueberries. They're fresh. They are local to my hometown, so I had to get them. Um, I was waiting for my stuff to get here from Florida before I bought a new blender, but it's been a really long time and I really need a blender, but I still didn't buy a blender today because I don't wanna go buy the same exact cheap, cheaper blender that I already have in Florida, and I don't wanna spend a bunch of money on a blender yet either but i don't know i should just buy the the blender that i want huh because if i buy the same blender then i'll have two of the same blenders that i probably could have bought like both of those blenders for the price of that one blender that i do really want so thank you guys for letting me vent to you i also have this in florida too but you know we just sometimes we gotta buy new stuff I think that this is my favorite protein powder in the world. Bananas and blueberries with this stuff is like heaven. It's like a whipped, oh my God, like so good. It's my favorite. And then we got some tomato sauce, kidney beans. Sorry, I shouldn't have drank that much. It kind of upset my tummy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now we got some kidney beans and some tomato sauce. Literally just, you'll wanna rinse your beans and drain them, but you'll just pour all of this stuff inside of one big pot, like after you cook your meat separately and drain your meat also. Um, sorry, I'm like trying to give tips and tricks, but like they might be kind of confusing if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, but yeah, always rinse your beans. A lot of places say like, like their cans like say like you don't need to rinse it or something but i think you still should i do but at the same time i'm like oh bean juice so it's really whatever i don't know who knows they already put so much stuff in our food ah tomatoes and chilies all in one normally i would buy like a can of tomatoes and chilies but i've been buying this because it's all in one so why not you know what I mean? And then when you're making taco soup, you have to have ranch seasoning. Like it's a must. And the stuff just kind of like when you add it onto anything tastes so much better. Like, I don't know what off the top of my baked potatoes. Yum. <laughs> and what? 
Oh, it says that there's two in here. This is the thinnest box ever. I was like, what? It says two pizzas. I think this might be what I make right now. I should. So, I've never had this cauliflower pizza before. It says it's keto. Keto crust. Eight grams of protein. Gluten and grain free. I don't know. We'll see how good it is and I'll let you guys know. <laughs> it had good ratings. That's why I bought it. And yes, I look at the ratings of everything because sometimes they're not good ratings. And then I'll be like, thank you so much for putting your input down. I don't do that. I need to. <laughs> And then we had to get a large thing of chili powder. As much as I didn't want to spend like $6 on this chili powder, I think it's probably worth it. It'll last me a long time, but it was kind of like expensive dark chili powder. powder. I don't know. And some pineapple, yummy, yummy frozen pineapple. I love eating pineapple for snacks um, because like whenever I'm like craving like candy or something, as much as I like want to go eat some candy or ice cream or whatever, like having fruit around and just going and eating that fruit to try and mask that hunger or craving or whatever works so much because like, I don't know how many times I've made like, a whole like tray of vegetables and hummus and i ate all of it instead of eating like a bowl of ice cream or something you know so you might as well just like try this first before you whip out the gummy bears <laughs> and another thing of mango berry fruit i honestly didn't really realize that i bought this i don't know we got a lot of fruit now it's fine it's good yay <laughs> i also thought i put these back I guess I didn't. It's whatever. We'll use them. It's good. Yay. I'm sure like some other time like down the road, I'll be like, that's why I got so many and I didn't put those back. It was meant to happen. This thing of brown cumin was like $7. That's really expensive. But I mean, I hope it's good because I was like thinking about it. I was like, yeah, I have like 99 cent onion powder and garlic powder. And it works good, but I'm like, I am sure that the $5 garlic powder would work a lot better. So, I don't know. They say you get what you pay for. I don't know if I believe in it, though. Cookies! Just because I kind of want to, I've been craving, like, yeah, okay, I've been craving cookies. But look how much fruit I got. But I've also been craving just the point of, like, making some cookies, like, home-baked cookies. And I know they're not home-baked I get it guys I know but anyways they're not home baked but I want to put them in the oven myself and have my house smell like cookies so that's why I had to get these <laughs> hopefully try and regrow it i don't know if that's what it always looks like though or if they cut the bottom off of it but we're gonna try and regrow it so yeah a bunch of organic carrots a red or purple onion whatever you prefer to call it ginger wow that's a really big piece of ginger i guess i'm gonna have ginger for a long time i probably needed it huh oh that smells so good oh my gosh i used to go and get that's like stir-fried vegetable like teriyaki stir-fried vegetables 
all the time like when i was younger from this like local restaurant and they put like chops of garlic like whole pieces of garlic or not garlic ginger in it and that's what that just reminded me of they're not really good to chew on but it tastes like the flavor added is so good so i got these because i wanted to like do juice like take pineapple and celery and ginger and make juice shots out of it but i didn't get my blender i don't know we'll figure out what type of blender i'm gonna get and then some avocados just because i think avocados are a must to have in the house sometimes but they go bad if you don't eat them but they're like too hard when you get them sometimes actually these ones are really good oh yeah they're really good but i'm gonna use them for my taco soup as a topping also and then some bananas just because uh fresh bananas are really good in oatmeal or just to eat randomly um what else oh and i needed their peelings for potassium to boil and then i'm gonna put that water inside of my plants um i'm gonna make little ice cubes out of the banana water and feed my plants with those ice cubes <laughs> sorry i get awkward sometimes <laughs> but yeah you guys it looks like that's what i got today um yeah the other day i went and i got some little uh popsicle thingies because um i want to make like i have aloe vera and something else i don't remember what i was gonna use but I want to take aloe vera and water and freeze it, like mix it together and freeze it and do little popsicles for my face because I take the ice cubes out of my freezer and I put those on my face, but I think like aloe vera or something else, like I don't remember, there was something else that I wanted to put in there, I don't remember what it was, but something that's good for my face and put it all over my face before I go to bed and when I wake up in the morning. That's what these are for. But yeah. Um, I think that's all I got for you guys today, but thanks for joining. Thank you for tuning in and watching my channel. I'm so excited and so thankful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you guys next time. Oh, and also drop down some comments below of what you guys would like to see me do. Like anything. I love planting. I love cooking. I love working out. Um food prep like uh talking and socializing and expressing like my feelings <laughs> and everything i've been through and just like sharing some stories like sharing stories of how i got to where i am today uh and everything i really really appreciate your guys feedback all the time i love you guys so much thank you for watching <laughs>